This is episode 21 of the Toy Box Podcast, The New York Comicalypse. Apocalypse means to destroy this world. So I'm Mazen okay, and I need a tank that turns into an ass and legs. I'm Timotheus Prime, and... Oh... Uh, 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 hey, I'm, I'm Bran, and I'm, I'm, I'm here for that juicy thigh. This is Necro Oblivion. I'm heading straight to the Hasbro booth. They're serving up some Ren Faire style fried robot legs this week. Tastes like chicken. Sounds right. like Brad Garrett. Parmesan or chicken. Brad Garrett. It probably would taste like Brad Garrett. What mm. would Brad Garrett taste like? Uh, <laughs> y'all can find out what Brad Garrett tastes like. I'm good. Isn't Brad Garrett that voice actor does like every anime known to man? No. No, no, he's the guy, uh, he's the brother from Everyone Loves Raymond, who voiced Trypticon. Oh. Voicing Trypticon? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I bring him up. It's not because I'm like some stalkerish person for Bad Garrett. Oh, it's, no, it's, celebrities. it's like the only reason I listen to that, that show, uh, something about Raymond or whatever it is, uh, every time he's on, I'm like, that sounds like Trypticon. <laughs> You're talking about Trypticon from the show? Yeah, G1. Yes. Oh. I didn't know you had a voice. <laughs> you know, when you start off in your early days of acting, sometimes you do things that you may not be proud to admit. In Brad Garrett's case, thankfully, it was voicing G1 Trypticon. You know Other... what's sad? The, he, he hasn't shown up at any convention for the Transformer convention for doing that voice. He sure hasn't. He probably made enough money off that stupid show. He doesn't need to work again. Yeah. That dude's probably getting bank on residuals. But yeah, I think it probably tastes like, oh, cigarettes and shoe leather. That's my guess. <laughs> and no one else wants to play this game. All right. Let's no. go to the, the Hasbro news, and let's go ahead and go with Trypticon's leg that they showed off at New York Comic Con. Very exciting for everybody. Or yeah, I, I, feel like, yeah. I feel like I'm in high school, and like you know, maybe you got like that hot teacher that flashes a little bit of leg and just teases you. You don't get to see everything. You get to see just enough to just get y'all worked out. What school did you go to? <sighs> Not a good one. Yeah, when I saw the Trypticon leg, I was just like, well, that's better than a silhouette that's all blurry. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I mean, why are this leg? That some some other company is going to be like, oh look, they're making Trypticon. It looks like that. Let's copy it. Like, <laughs> the damn thing. Well, well, you know, the KOs are coming out so fast. It's it's you know it's a possibility, but I don't know the real reason. Um, maybe be, I'm guessing. Here's what I think: the prototype got damaged in shipment, and the only thing that didn't break was the leg. So they showed off the legs. Like I bet they're I, I bet they're probably planning to show the whole Trypticon. And then um, something happened, and they just wound up with the leg. It's like, well, here's his leg. Look, it folds out. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You mean just like the original one, squeal? At least the good thing about what they showed is just what you said, Tim, that um, you know there is some type of action sequence with the leg. It does fold out. It's you know, part of the base. Uh, and yeah, and it's going to be the first Titan class figure that we're getting that has a uh, high quality heavy ratcheted ankle tilts. Mm, that's helpful. That's very I saw the, ankle tilts. I saw the I saw the video of that, and they have the mic literally up to it, so you could hear the clang, 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 clang when John Ford was doing it with Trypticon, and I was just like, oh, oh, I'm not a Trypticon fan, but you know what? A Titan class figure with ankle tilts, yeah, I'm there. How are you not a Trypticon fan? I mean, right? well, Transformers make a Godzilla. How are you not into I, that? I I am. It's just when Age of Extinction came out and all the third party, the whole Dinobot excitement thing just went out the window. So when the boat contest came up, um, I'm still Scorponok's my favorite. I'm still waiting for Scorponok, but Trypticon's okay. It's just like uh, it's like oh look another dinosaur. All right, but seeing the detailed leg and it's a nice leg. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick up a time class Trypticon. Probably not the Japanese one, because after spending 156 on shipping on my two Fort Maxes, probably going to stick domestic this time. Good call. Yeah. yeah. When is he supposed to be released? Uh, the fall of 2017. Oh my god, we got a year? Yes. 
Uh, what are they going to do? Tease us with one body part like a freaking serial murderer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or when, body part a month, boy. They'll, 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 do, the seven, they'll, they'll do the seven sins, and then they'll have John Warden and one of the other developers have a box in front of them, and it's Triptychon's head. <laughs> <laughs> you say this fast. <sighs> Hopefully well, we'll see an abusive the abusive relationship with Hasbro sometimes. So I wouldn't be surprised for a reveal like that. Like that. <laughs> I'm guessing yeah. the full the full uh, reveal will be in February once you have uh, the, the toy fair. Probably. Probably. Along with all the movie toys. Uh, and, you know, even though it's not totally added to the news, I am excited for a returning highly detailed Optimus Prime voice changing helmet. Yes. What to what scare cats? No, man, oh, man. It's, it's awesome. awesome. I have like uh, every every voice changing helmet, Optimus Prime helmet from the 2007 movie to Dark in the Moon and Age of Extinction was just a sad day. Sad day. All right. Well, so speaking of Hasbro's terrible silhouettes, where you can't tell what it is. Uh, we got Black Shadow revealed when we were all assuming we'd see Overlord first. Well, what I can tell you is that that's definitely Overlord, and I love the fact is they had it side by side in six shot when John Warren was doing the demonstration to show up the figure, and Sky Shadow is a larger leader class than six shot by over a head and a half taller, and I, and so that means Overlord's going to be a, de- a nice size leader class figure. But there's gonna the jet is definitely gonna remold to the more stealth bomber look because it does not match the silhouette we saw at Bodcon. But uh, he looks good. Uh, the tank is definitely Overlord. Um, it's weird how they combine. It's like there's this weird stick, long stick that comes out to connect to the jet torso to make it uh, combine together. It looks good. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I only hope when Overlord comes out. That we get uh, the 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 breast force uh, Giga Giga and Mega, but they probably won't be called that. They probably called Titan Master uh, something or other, pizza and mustard. Was it just me, or did I see two little headmasters on display with the black shadow? You know, I don't know. There, do you have the pick? Gosh, I have so many picks. I just want to know which one to look through. Uh, I remember they seeing it. Just one. Uh, I saw I saw one oh, there. Oh, oh, the oh, that's, oh, that's six, six shots, shots uh, uh, Titan Master. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. The white one, that's a six shot Titan Master. I remember watching the video. Half the video you couldn't hear because people were being so loud in the background. <laughs> it's like shut up, people. <laughs> but it's at a Comic Con, so it's good luck trying to get people to shut up. <laughs> I'm still betting that the Takara Overlord will have some uh, Godmasters. Well, has one. Well, well, yeah, the problem with that is it's just the <sighs> importing shipping is so freaking expensive now. It's depressing. It is literally it's, it, it costs so much more now to import ship. It's It sucks. I remember when I got two Metroplexes it was only like eighty dollars for both of them. Fort Max, a hundred fifty-six. So I was just like, because I remember, like I said, I told you guys, oh, that's eighty on the podcast. No, one fifty-six. But uh, we'll see, we'll see, because I'm an Overlord fan too. So I'm like, dang it, I still got to find a way to save up the money to get that uh, Super Ginra that's coming out. Oh. That one, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for. So we'll so just we'll have to see. see. Yeah, yeah. But y'all can also can check to see, see what uh, your retailer offers for shipping. Uh, shipping. Uh, you know, without my they have yeah. several invoices yeah. now, yeah. and because, because EMS yeah, jacked, jacked up their rates, rates earlier, earlier this year, year they, they added the DHL, and that's that's, that's pretty, pretty reasonable. reasonable. And you're going to get it around the same amount of time as you would as EMS anyway, at least from what I've seen. So, you know, it's a uh, it, it, it's a good alternative. Yeah. Well, I am disappointed because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a Thunderwing redeco of this, and I really don't want it to be for Thunderwing. That just kind of makes me sad a little bit. It was just a big badass jet. 
which, which this, this has, has, but it's, but it's not all about the jazz. I was thinking about that earlier. The, uh, the underground repaint, and just wondering how fans are going to react um, if it is a repaint of this black uh, shadow. How will they react to this tank being part of the uh, set? Poorly. Poorly. Fans react yeah, poorly. poorly. Yeah. And then they still buy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll probably pick up the sky shadow because it, it looks good. And it's a, a decent size leader class, and it's got a fun gimmick that I'm looking forward to messing around with. What's the gimmick? The only, the only, the only downside, if the tank is identical to what Overlord is going to be, his gun needs to be way bigger. It's too small for an Overlord. Yeah, I think I think it's just going to be a straight up repaint. I don't think we're going to get a lot of a lot of options there. Uh, I'm going to disagree. Do you think they're going to do a complete remold like uh, like with Power Master Prime? No, I think on the tank, they're going to leave it as it is because that looks like Overlord's tank. Uh, the jet is going to look more like a stealth bomber. So they're going to remold the, 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 uh, least the shell of the jet and his shoulders to be more, <coughs> to be more accurate to an Overlord. Maybe. Now, if they don't, that's going to be really stupid after all the momentum. And John Warren's a big fan of the Overlord character, so I don't think he's going to uh, not try to do his best on it. And since he's one of the project managers, if someone goes, well, we could just repeat Sky Shadow, you shut the face up, man. You shut up. This is freaking Overlord, man. He made, God, he made Super Get Right his bitch. We're going to do one accurate whether you like it or not. But what about the book? Shut up! Why'd you slap me? Because <laughs> I'm John Morden, and this is my kingdom, bitch. So, yeah, I think I think Overlord will be your moment. This game brought to you by the behind-the-scenes fan fiction of Dark Armada. I can just picture Tim and his... The what now? Could anyone Could see anyone a Cybertron, see a Cybertron Megatron, Megatron out of this mold? Of this mold. Mm. Mm. Would be weird colors, but maybe like two genres mix, like like an Armada tank and I don't know, some weird what jet was mode. Was Wasn't Cybertron was Megatron, 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 Megatron that had like, the, that tank, had, like, on the tank on his arm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. you know, yeah. they yeah. might yeah. be able to pull off an Energon remold. But the tank would have to be remolded then. I'm just always I'm thinking of repaints and redecos for, for everything. I don't think they'll go that far. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get a Thunderwing. I'm thinking I'm about thinking the clam chowder in my belly. Let's make me go gurgle, gurgle. What? All right. All right. I'm a dragon. But not when you're shooting fire out your ass. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm a multi diversional <laughs> dragon. <laughs> All right, well, speaking right, of multiple, multiple uses, uses for things, for things uh, we uh, also we had Braun being revealed, revealed an actual full, full figure form, form and not and simply not a, Titan a Titan Master. Master. He is not a Headmaster, correct? <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, man, I got to go pick up another Braun. But, yeah, yeah, he, can, he, he, but he but can't put a Titan Master in himself, so he can put himself in himself. Ooh, that sounds very Arkansas-ish. No, that's Inception Transformer style. Well, it looks well, good. good. I mean, I mean bold, the all the all the mod mode, uh, very, very, you know, bulky. Yeah, bulky and that's how that's I saw my bra. So, so, cool, cool. Yeah, it yeah, looks it looks, it looks, it looks good, good to me. To me. I'm going to pick it up. What's nice, What's too, nice is it looks like they've actually taken actually the extra, extra money, money for uh, uh, silver game apps. apps. So it's not so just that, that dingy gray, gray that they've been using. Yeah, but keep in mind that's that's a show model. We've had some that's like, oh yeah, that looks great, and then it comes out, oh, they they, they took away the paint. Oh, that's a bummer, but that's okay. I'll still buy it because I'm a tool. Phoebe Hasbro, nom 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 nom. Well, anyway, I feel dumb for buying a body for Brawn when now we have a Brawn. So now I have a transtector body that doesn't make sense for anyone else. Thanks, Hasbro. Yeah, thanks, Hasbro. It's possible, though, they're going to release a figure that's in a greeny, yellowish color. That way, um... (laughs) 
Okay, by the power of editing later on. All right. And so basically, the green and yellow, um, I, it, if they come up with a figure, another deluxe size figure that's probably in the same color scheme, that would work. Or just green and silver, since the Titan Master is kind of a, the head itself is kind of a green with just some silver. So I think uh, if they come up with a deluxe figure that's compatible with it, as far as color palette wise, I think that's probably what Hasbro plans to do as far as. Um, Having, having different varieties of figures, then bring out new IP characters, but in different colors, but you can interact some old style uh, figure type masters with the other with the uh, new release molds. But you know, we'll have to wait and see. the The Legends Braum looks cool. I'm gonna buy one, maybe two, because I'm a dragon. We always buy two. All right, and Hasbro also showed off some more Star Wars black figures. Um, very, very focused on Rogue One this time. Uh, the first wave of this season was a mix of different movies. Um, so I'm excited by this. Um, getting Bayes, Chirrut, Kinnick, a few more Trooper variants. Looks like they're going to try to do a Darth Vader again, because the first Star Wars Black Vader had a, a mushy rubber helmet, so he could take his helmet off and have old, pasty, scar white Vader that no one cared about. Oh, that's horrible. I didn't see it. I'm glad to have Necro on this episode, because I know you, you two don't care about Star Wars at all. Heathens. So let me just reference this by saying I do care about Star Wars, but collecting-wise, I'm not into it as much as I am, you know, other lines like Transformers. I usually get in uh, the classic figures from the original trilogy, and uh, a few select figures from, you know, the newer movies and whatnot. I'm not, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to go into, you know, you some know, figures here. They look they nice. Look nice. Um, um, but I, I, I'd, I'd like, like to say, to give me some some, uh, some synth figures. figures. I'm always I'm happy to collect those. People, people with lightsabers are happy to collect those. those. Um, but, but, like, you know, the Stormtroopers, things like that, um, I'll usually pass all of them. So, yeah, I purchased two Death right Troopers right. this last week, last so week. Yeah. I have What's a sickness that? on Troopers. Yeah. I'm just mad that, you know that animatronic, that $100 Kylo Ren figure? The lightsaber sound they used on that toy, why didn't they use that line, that lightsaber sound effect on his saber in the movie? would have made it so much better. That's all I'm saying. Because Kylo Ren sucks at everything. Oh, right now, but I but they're probably going to, like, I don't know... 2017. Hey, I'm a badass now. Check it out, cause Snook, Snook uh, trained me. And then there's this weird rumor going around, this weird theory by fans that Snook is actually Mace Windu come back and he became a Sith. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, actually, Mace Windu's light side allegiance is in question because never mind. Um... <laughs> Well, here, here's the funny thing. You see Snook, he shows both hands in the movie, right? Okay. And they both look like, like organic hands. Well, This logic does not work for Star Wars, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he lost his freaking arm thanks to Anakin Douchebag, who, who you know, and, and then he, and then he yeah, got lightning forced Unless a blaster forced shot out. someone in their cybernetic hand, you can't tell. Okay, well, I, I won't be too shocked if it is or isn't. Uh, it's probably someone we've not seen yet, but I think the Mace Windu theory is kind of cool, actually. But I'm it's sure not we're that... not going to find out who it is till Rogue One. I'll probably drop a hint. Yeah, it's not that I don't like Star Wars figures, Maz. It's just that there's so many that come out so fast, and my wife has made it pretty much clear you're only going to collect Transformers. Now, there's some exceptions sometimes. Like, i got to have my giant NECA 18-inch Master Chief with... with uh, High detail, and that thing's built like a brick. Shout out to NECA for quality. Um, but, you know, there hasn't... Been, I mean, I have a couple. I got a 14-inch Darth Vader I got from the Disney store, and I love the thing. It's really durable. Uh, not super posable, but still fun. So I got, I picked him up because it was cheap. Because uh, anything Disney store is pretty low price. I also picked up a lightsaber. I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm just, I'm just not, not oh my gosh, gosh everything Star, Star Wars, Wars is bust. bust. You know? Yeah. And 
when you get past iconic characters like you know Darth Vader, uh, you know Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, you know Bubba Fett, it's like you know I, I, I kind of move on. I got my Black Series Bubba Fett, and I'm good. Well, on the other hand, I have my Star Wars Black Boba Fett. I have my Star Wars Black Proto Boba Fett. I'm looking forward to the Mayfex Boba Fett. So, yeah, that one looks good. And yeah. hopefully, Boba Fett will get his own standalone movie. That would be awesome. Probably couldn't keep it PG-13 though, because he is an assassin. I'm sorry, bounty hunter. Excuse me, assassin, bounty hunter, same thing. One does it for honor. One does it for a paycheck. What of? So some of these new, um, unless you're in Naruto's universe, then you're 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 uh, getting, and you and your village gets paid to have assassins come out, eh? Yeah, so you like that. a bounty hunter and assassin at the same time, eh? That that is true. That's very true in the uh, Naruto verse. So <sighs> back back to the uh, the Black Series figures. You know, like I, I saw the guys for Rogue squadron one and i mean they look all right they kind of remind me more like people would see in the aliens movie like the second one where it was james cameron directing and it was an action pack they got this cool looking i know it's not a flamethrower bazooka pack but that's kind of what it reminds me of um the vader looks cool uh i like that his eyes are a lot rather than the ones that we originally got on the um regular series uh I don't know what's up with this cape. It's going to be the same as, you know, what we had before. It's going to be something different. It kind of looks a little bit more sculpted, but I think someone was just really good with uh, with setting it up before the photography. Um, but other than that, I'm not really, you know, I don't know, not really excited about any of these new figures coming out yet. All right. Well, do you have any excitement for any of the Marvel Legends reveals? Uh, you know, um... That Doctor Strange looks pretty good. Yeah, the Strange the Strange line is cool, uh, and that's coming out any day now. I can't wait for the movie. Today. Oh, you saw really cool. Yeah, I saw two on a shelf in a Toys R Us today. Very nice, very nice. You know, on to Marvel Legends. I was actually I was talking to Zach about this. Like, what if they do? You know how they do the build a character where like you buy a character, get a limb. You know, what if that leg was a hint like, hey, you get leader class six shot, you get his leg, or, you know, you want his arm, you get pick up Sky Shadow or something like that. I'd be cool with that because I buy, like, all big Transformers. So that would be kind of cool if, if Triptychon was a build a character. Though I don't know how structurally sound it would be if he was a build a character. But then again, when you have Metroplex packaged with his arm separate, you connect it in and... Solid as a rock, so if they do it like that, I'm all on board. I think that would kill any type of way for them to market the current product as it is and probably jack up the prices. I mean, those are some really large pieces, and depending on how many parts that they want to disperse it out in. I mean, it's a cool-sounding idea, but I think they'd have to do it with something a lot smaller. Oh, I um, know. I, it totally won't happen at that scale. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, you, you remember back in like the late '90s, early 2000s, they had those little uh, PVC non-posable Transformers figures, like the Optimus, all the G1 stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah, and so those came <laughs> with little pieces that you could build another guy. I uh, don't remember offhand who it was. I want to say it was Metroplex, but I'm probably Metroplex. Wrong. There was one for Fort Max. Oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah, stuff like that, sure. But they were called Mega something. I forgot. I still have Star Saber and Optimus Prime. Okay. Yeah. So maybe something on that scale, but definitely not like a Titan class scale. I'm just saying, not seriously. That what if they did it? That'd be kind of crazy. But I'd be all over it because I like crazy. Yeah. Because I'm a dragon. So back to Marvel Legends stuff. Um, the Sandman one. Looks pretty cool, and that I believe that's supposed to be a build a figure. I got him, or at least the you know the variant version in the SDCC set that came out a couple months ago. Didn't they already have a Sandman build a figure a couple years ago? I distinctly yes. remember they did one. Yes, but that's for uh, Spider Man Three to movie, so oh. it was yeah, it's a bit different. So it doesn't count. Yes, it does not count. <laughs> that is correct. 
that movie does not count in many, many ways. Right. Although, <laughs> dude, if you don't love that scene where he's like acting all, he being Spider Man or Peter Parker, dressed in black, d- dancing like a badass, I don't know what's wrong with you. That's such a great scene. It's a good scene. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bad movie, but it's a good scene. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The Venom was introduced so horribly in that movie. It, it was, yeah. It was too many characters. It was too too many characters in a movie that they were trying to focus on. They should have like waited. They should have just done something with freaking Sandman and called it a day. And then Sam Raimi should have just went straight to freaking Venom the next one. Because I remember there was so much hype on Venom. Me and my friends, and it's online. Everyone was talking about, oh my gosh, the next movie's got to be Venom. No, it's Dr. Octopus. Now, to the credit of Sam Raimi, I could give a flying fart for Dr. Octopus before I saw that movie. They made me a fan of that villain character after that. After that, I was like, Doc Ock, yeah, dude, that guy's a badass. Before, I thought he was some guy with some freaking goggles and a spandex suit with these really cheesy mechanical arms, but they made him relevant and made me a fan. But and then the third movie comes out and I'm just like, what? So they they lost me. Yeah, the, those. I'm not gonna get into my opinions on those particular movies, even though I'm a Sam Raimi fan. I would say just not that time. Yeah, he didn't make a movie since then. Yeah, he did. He did. What did he make? Yeah. Um, Drag me to hell. Yeah, Drag Me to Hell. We just saw that. Yeah, we just saw that uh, for that Friday night. So yeah, Drag Me to Hell being one of them. Um, and I'm not sure how involved he is with the Ash vs. Evil Dead series, but I'm pretty sure he's a big part of that. So it's, you know, he's there, he's doing his thing. Which made it weird that we had a Spider-Man who only made one joke in three movies. <laughs> God. Um. Uh, well, so you know, else? You know, uh, Shocker looks good. Though they might want to change the name because when you hear when I when you hear the word shocker, it sounds like an inappropriate um, uh, thing uh, to do. The shocker. Yeah, but you know that that name's been around. That character's been around since the '60s. So you know. I wish they'd do some new effect parts for the hands. Yes, but at least it's there. So you know, I give I give uh, Hasbro that. You know, they're. they're Ever since a few years ago, they've been consciously trying to add more accessories to their figures and um, making that whole figure worth the value that you're paying for it. Which you know, it's I still think. Oh, it's oh my high. gosh! Oh my gosh! This Logan looks terrible. The butt he has a buzz cut. <laughs> old man, what old man Logan looks like so. Old man Logan, huh? Yeah. All right. So, Particularly nasty uh, twelve issue miniseries. But a... is that what his new movie? Because like I remember, uh, Hugh Jackman said the, he's after he does uh, the last yeah, Wolverine going movie, for. he's done. Oh, so they're gonna do the old man Logan? Because what well, the movie's called Logan. Rumors are saying, but we don't know for sure. Okay, I'm looking at Sam. Man, the detail sand effect on his arms is great, and the side of his face is very vicious looking. If, if that's the build a figure, not bad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because um, he is he is rather large, so that's what I'm thinking. He's the build a figure in this series. Well, here's a guy I haven't seen in a long time. Shatterstar, really? Yes, <laughs> hell yes. Nineteen ninety Shatterstar, dude was amazing. Yeah, Shatterstar was sold on. Yeah, definitely. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, hey, about hey Brian. Your absence. You're drinking you're absinthe. Awesome. Uh, all I can oh. say out there, gentlemen, is Taco Bell is a cruel mistress. Hey, so, Bram, we're talking about Marvel Legends and some new figures coming out. Do you like Marvel Legends? Um, no, not really. Do you like some- <laughs> I, I appreciate I, I see the figures on the shelves. I mean, I appreciate them for the, the characters. and I, Something, actually, I, I kind of wish. Like, I like to, you know, I see a character I don't recognize – I'll I'll take the box down. I, I want to read like you know the bio, you know, mm-hmm. learn like, hey, what's this chick's deal or what's this dude got that weird arm for? And this is like uh, the Marvel heroes are fighting against injustice, and I'm like, oh, that didn't tell me shit. Yeah, and you don't get you don't get Spider Bitch's name on the card, which kind of sad. Yeah. So, other than that, I mean, some of the build of figures, you know, look pretty cool. I, mean, I see the combined. You know the little, you know product detail pics on the back. I was like, eh, yeah. okay. 
Damn it, I need to go by Spider Bitch now. Go with Logan. Logan. That's right. All right. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, with, with Legends, you know, I, I think they're they're also doing an effort to not rehash the same <laughs> character over and over. Now, no, Spider Man, they've, they've lost that. They they totally made way too many Spider Mans, or will make too many Spider Mans in the near future. Uh, but you don't really see too many Wolverines anymore, and that's cool. I'm looking just like in the vein that we've got a shatter song. I want a good. I want to get my '90s X Force series. What about y'all? Oh yeah, definitely. The cannonball, boom boom. Yeah, definitely get both of those. Um, Feral, forget her. <laughs> Wolf Spain. Oh, Wolf Spain, that, totally. I love Wolf Spain. Yeah. Domino. Yeah, yeah. Still give Domino. Still give Domino. Uh, and you know what? Going back, uh, even though not as far as the 90s, I was going say the last six years of X Force, where they had that black and gray or black and silver suit. I want to see more of those guys come out. There's Wolf's Bane right there. And um, you also got the Earl and uh, Elixir. So. so. It'd be cool to see those guys in that suit, um, but, but I'm sad I never picked up the SDCC set that came out with the you know, so I'll probably, probably that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just like to segue real quick. I didn't get to mention it. Uh, for those who are not in the know, Hasbro has run out of Titans Return figures. All Wave 2 toys are now on back order, order, including including Wave wave 1. So if you didn't get them, you don't find them in store, well, guess what? You're out of luck. Time to start overpaying on eBay. Yep, and because Hasbro didn't make enough to meet the demand. I don't know how they're handling the situation. I don't know if they're going to open up another another factory factory because they still still use the previous factories for Wave wave 3 and 4 because those will be coming out soon. But, uh, or they're just going to skip it all together and say, whoops, we messed up. up. We'll do better we'll next time. <laughs> you stupid fanboys. So, so anyways, anyways um, um, yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that's good news for Transformers. Transformers. Uh, that means they're on top. They're on top again. Sound like hotcakes, as they should be. Okay, okay continue, continue on. on. All right, let's all right, go ahead and go, go onward, onward to, to Takara. Takara. They, they reveal Leo Prime. Leo Prime. Looks What's good. good? What, uh, forget, forget out for trying. Get that guy. guy. Except, Except for import, import shipping costs. costs sad phase. I, I, I like that for trying. I you know I pre-ordered him and picked him up, and I, you know it's decent. It blows my mind that that's going to be freaking. Well, what what else is the name? The damn air broadside. Trip. Broadside. There we go. I, of course. You know, I was mess. I was like, wait a minute. So I went and got mine. I was like, oh, yeah, there's, you know, the ship mode. There's all the little tracks for for the aircraft carrier. Oh, my God. But, eh, that'll be the only repaint I get. I like them. I like, I like the vivid colors on the uh, Leo Prime. And uh, I think he's due for, a, you know, a, a new figure these days. And definitely get on to Car for saying that, hey, we could reuse this current uh, mold for him. I mean, I don't really see him in that third or the second alt mode, but uh, you know, for what he is now, he looks he looks great. Yeah, I think I think he looks uh, pretty pretty fantastic. <laughs> Again, import shipping. <laughs> Your problem is you can't just buy one. Uh, well. That so remember, the true. more things you buy, the cheaper hey. it is per item for the shipping. <laughs> uh, not necessarily, because I'm going through Nippon Nishan, and uh, to get that uh, Super Genrai, the Soundwave, and Brainstorm is $192 with shipping. Jeez. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. And, and they're ones? usually really good rates. So if their rates are good, I can only imagine how bad anime exports and, and AmiAmis are now. All right. Say, so wait. Which figures was going to be one ninety two? One ninety two total with shipping. Oh, with shipping. is going to be Super Ginrai. All right. That one actually costs more than Soundwave because of the heavy molding. They added money onto it. Uh, their Legend Soundwave and Brainstorm, one hundred ninety two. 
and I'm on this option where I could pay it later, and I'm so contemplating, like, should I do it? I really want the Super Ginra and that Soundwave Brainstorm. I could probably pass up because, you know, he'll eventually come out in the States. Eventually. Has he been I imagine anywhere else besides that random-ass Walmart? Uh, no. No. No, but I read somewhere that October 11th is now the new Magic Day, but who knows if you can believe that. So he was uh, never actually released to the Walgreens even then. He hasn't no, been he spotted ha- yet. The Wave 2 has been released at Walgreens, but yeah. Brainstorm has not. Yeah, I got my Wave 2 at Walgreens. Me too. Yeah, that's the only place I've seen Wave 2. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> that's the only place. Uh, the only thing I've seen left, Titans Return, I went to uh, Target uh, yesterday and I found um, a, lou- a Loudmouth and a, a, a Nightbeat, and that was it next to, uh, there was an Ape Face I left, and there was a Scourge, and that's all they had. Walmart, they still have a couple Skull Crunchers and a Scourge, and that's all they have. So, yeah. Um Titan's return is to sell like hotcakes. Well, I'm kind of concerned that actually maybe it's a distribution issue and we'll find them all in TJ Maxx and Marshalls by the abundance later on. Cool. That means I pay less money. I can live with that. And hey, Counterpunch arrived. Hello. I was able to get my, uh, use my phone, and then I realized, well, well, if I don't have anything on, you know, speaker, maybe I can actually use my phone as the microphone. Nah, you're too late. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you guys talking about the mass uh, distribution lack on Hasbro's pack? No, we're yeah. talking about it. Yeah, you know, the whole Titans return shortage. Yeah. That's pretty I wonder awesome. If that means, I wonder if that means wave three or if that's just wave one and two. I can't well, imagine the turnaround time of ordering an entire stock to be produced from scratch, packaged, shipped overseas. I mean, what's that got to take? A couple of months? I mean, I don't think they'll do that. That's what kind of killed the Bandai of America Thundercats line. It's actually it's went actually back went and back remade and all the all first them. stuff, and then it just sat on the shelves then. Yeah, and so was- they'll, just, they'll just be like, oops, oh wells. And then maybe increase production for the latter couple of waves that are still out so. there. And yeah, just remember, it's not really wave three and four. It's going to be 2017 wave one and wave two. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. But yeah, we'll probably see the 2017 figures probably show up before the end of the year. There's oh, yeah. Well, Christmas rush. Yes. Christmas Rodimus. Woohoo! Oh, oh, yeah. I'll be, oh, yeah. I, gotta, I want to get that Rodimus figure. Yeah. Yeah, and you remember too. Uh, well, just like, well, the last time that they had a wave come out right around Christmas, dude, stores were packed with them. So I really don't think this affects uh, wave three or you know however you want to call it, the wave with Rodimus. I think that one's going to be out in full force, and you're going to be able to pick it up. That, that should be like your new avatar online, the wave of Rodimus. The wave <laughs> of Rodimus. It'll just wash right over you. Gen- gen- genius just pops <laughs> out of my head. It's amazing. See, people tell you, I am a super genius. <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, okay, so I just I just had a quick question. So, timeline. When did um, figures actually come out for Wave 1 in U.S.? <laughs> Roughly what time? June. Okay, June. And you guys started receiving Wave 2 in... September, late August. I, I don't know if I'd count Wave Two because it's only been in like one store, Walgreens. Right. I mean, it's only been that store. store. As I mean, as far as I know, that's the only store I've seen it at. Yeah. Right. So and then, no Target, no Toys R Us, no Walmart. No. Nope. Well, Wave Two Deluxe okay, is at Walgreens, so and Wave Two Legends at Target. Yeah, that's true. I got the, okay, I got okay. way too legends. Oh, and you know what? Yeah, the uh, the little guys. Oh, the yeah, legends the have been Masters, everywhere. The Titan Masters. Uh, yeah, those were at Walmart. Sorry, we should clarify. The deluxes are only at Walgreens. 
Okay, the deluxes are only at Walgreens. So let's say end of October, you guys they'll be in most um, retail stores. So that's July, August. So yeah, we'll probably see Wave Three by Christmas, hopefully. But like I said, if that's if this shortage is going to affect service, it's going to be right now. So honestly, I'm, really, I'm honestly, worried about Wave honestly, 2 in 2017 um, just because, oh, the movie. Because things are always notorious for a movie year that the Generations line gets lost in distribution somehow. That is true, and that's kind of scary because, but well, I they think they're going to Age of make, Extinction, I thought. Yeah, but you got to remember, after Age of Extinction at different conventions, Hasbro said we're now 30% of their market. So they're going to take a little better care of us. As far as more releasing more product, there has been more product. I know in Times Return, it's just that it's been bought up like hotcakes, and that's a good thing because that means that Hasbro's like, oh crap, wow, Times Return. You know, we thought it'd be successful, not this successful, so we got to make more for the next wave. Uh, they might bring out some Wave One, Wave Two in revisions maybe later on, but we'll have to see. That would make the most logical sense because I know I know a ton of people who don't have Alpha Trion, me, and Astro Train, me. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if you got a leader class, uh, Power Master Optimus Prime Blaster, good job. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen a few of them in retail, but I'd gotten mine online just months ago. Yeah, I saw some yeah. in a Toys R Us today. I, I played with Zach's Blaster. It's okay. I mean, it's a decent figure. Its ankle tilts really uh, add to the posability. So kudos for Hasbro for that. But it just feels... I don't know. It's a uh, it, I don't know. It just feels... Uh, it doesn't feel like a $44 toy. To me, anyway. That That's just my opinion. I mean, it's, it's okay. If I paid 30 bucks for it, I, I'd be like, yeah, it's cool. But, you know, 44 I'm just... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I paid 60 for it. Good grief, man. Where do you live? Canada? <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know what? You know what? On that on that point, so for any any Canadian viewers <laughs> listening to this that care, um, I I have uh, personal experience today. I was in a Walmart, uh, found uh, Wave 2 Chrome Dome, Wave 2 Highbrow, Wave to Legend, Brawn, Clobber, Ape Face. I didn't check all of them, so I don't know if the fourth one is there. And Leader, um, Soundwave. Hey, hey, if CP gets to do Toy Gets, so I get to do Toy Gets too. Yeah. No, 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 no. This isn't Toy Gets. <laughs> I'm saying what I saw at Walmart, which happens to be a Toy Get, but it's more. this is more news that I care about because. You know, we're so slow with getting Wave 2 stuff or, you know, anything <laughs> before you guys. Move to Russia. Apparently Russia's getting all the inventory. Really? Russia and Germany. Huh. <laughs> but anyways, any, uh, any Canadian hopefuls? Uh, my city has some in their Walmart, so be sure to check out your local store. Stay away from the clowns. <laughs> Um, my city actually had a ban on clown outfits for high schools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Okay. What what happened to lead up to that? You haven't been watching the news? Holy uh, crap, dude. Those people like scaring people or whatever. Yeah, they're killing people. Oh now they're killing people. Hey, hey. they yes, now, now they're killing people. people. Oh. Is that can, can someone really killed someone as a clown? With a machete and another one with a gun. Oh. Yeah. I think the more dangerous thing for a lot of people is the paranoid ones about the clowns. We've had people who are getting shot at walking their dogs because people are afraid it could be a clown. Yeah, that's that's also, uh, you know, and people who do it for a living now can't do it because everybody's terrified. And keep in mind, Halloween's coming up. What do people like to dress up as? Clowns. There's going to be a lot of people accidentally, innocently shot this this Halloween. Is unless but, everybody gets the hint and doesn't dress up as a clown. 
Well, I hate clowns anyway, so I, I hope unless it's unless it's a hot chick in a sexy clown outfit, I, I won't shoot her. Yeah, uh, that, that, does, that combination probably doesn't exist. I've seen and it. Necro would disagree. Yeah, <laughs> Necro's the expert on hot female clowns. <laughs> there, hey, hey, there's Aside a hot. That one. Hey, Necro, you agree with me that that chick from Decay is a clown? Meow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. But I will say, <laughs> yeah, um, at this time, as much as I like freedom of speech and, of course, dressing how you want is a form of freedom of speech, probably not the best of time to go out as a clown. And it does suck for people who do that as a living. But, I mean, I have a clown costume and all that more like two or three years ago. Trust me, that thing's not coming back. It was already creepy as it was, and I wasn't, you know, there wasn't that whole, like, zeitgeist of fear that the clown will actually come and kill you so yeah that thing's that thing's put away and uh billy the puppet's not even coming out this year too now let me explain something to you for people out there who don't have a brain when go trick-or-treating if you come to someone's house they're just as a clown you don't have a right to shoot them because they're going to give you candy okay people like to dress up and scare people when they come to their house so keep in mind when you go trick-or-treating that's what they do for fun so the people you need to worry lights. about I'm not who are the on door. the street, <laughs> who are driving around on the street in clown infests, and that are deliberately intent to harm. There's a big difference. Know it. I'm Timotheus Prime, and I'm a dragon, and that's one to grow on. Whew. So, y'all listening, don't be clowns this year. There's plenty of other things you can do. Yeah, don't even dress up as the Joker, because some people who are not familiar with the DC Universe might think you're one of the clowns, too. Which is unfortunate because Joker's a pretty cool character. I had no idea all that crap was going on. That's because you're stuck in emergency. That's because you're stuck in emergency room all day. Then you go home and sleep, and then you do stuff that you, you can't even tell us about. It's so wrong in so many ways. You, you're talking like about the diarrhea, aren't you? Oh yeah, <laughs> the chocolate waterfall of pleasure. I'll tell you what. At least the bed's warm for thirty seconds. <laughs> Uh, I don't like bringing work home with me. I can tell you guys a diary story I had at Walmart. You want to hear? No, let's talk about other horrible abominations. So I'm going to skip to the Playmates Voltron toys. Okay. I'm still looking for them online. Can't find any pics. Uh, it was right only now. Nerdist was the only one who had an article on it. I was like 20 pictures, like, too, pictures on the too on the day it was announced. I looked at it. I mean, it's okay. I, I actually am looking at Bandai's Soul to Choke in uh, Voltron. That thing looks sick. You mean Go Lion? Hmm? Go Lion. It's Go Lion? Never Where's he go? Doesn't say that. No, nah, just Go no, Lion just was go the name of the original, the original show. I'm just being, I'm just being Japanese, Japanese purist, purist aren't you? It says Voltron right behind the figure. Depends where you Depends look, where you look at it at. Well, it's a, it's a Bandai product, and Bandai's from Japan, so yeah. Uh, okay, this is obvious for most people, but I'm just going to skip over that. All right. Anyway, so Playmates is going to release a Voltron line for the new DreamWorks series that's on Netflix. There's going to be a series of figures at a 999 price point, and... Um, deluxe figures that is seventeen ninety nine of the blue, yellow, green, red lines, and a thirty dollar black lion with all sorts of electronic gimmicks that combine together. And unfortunately, we we do not see the combined mode. So I'm a little sad about that because what's that one that's combined in the picture? Yeah, there's a nine 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 Voltron, and then there's a forty dollar one also. Um, that's just Voltron, no, no combining bits to it. So the pictures are of the the ten dollar basic one and the forty dollar posable electronic one, but not the actual combined of the deluxe lions. So there's still some mystery because on that part. I can see I can see these lines in the background that match the aesthetics of the arm. Like I'm looking at Pidge's lion behind it, and I'm looking at the arm. They look identical to me. There's no legs. If you look at the Voltron body. I thought they like folded up into each other to smooth it out. Anyway, they're going to have yeah, three Voltron toys in total, essentially, of actual combined robot. 
So again, there's the 999 basic one, the $40 ultimate, electronic, whatever. And if you pay, what, $27.99 plus $79.99 times four, you can get the bigger combined mode. But that one they've not shown a picture of as of yet. They just showed the lions individually. Lions individually and the, the figures that are not combining of Voltron. Well, hopefully the figure won't look like ass. Because usually when you add electronics and gimmetry to a big robot, it equals disaster. I don't know. That, All that the gimmicks are in the Black Lion. So the like Black Lion... They have. I'm just, I don't know if I'm feeling that. It's a little, little funky looking for me. Well, at least we're finally getting figures. Um, it took them a long time because season one was <laughs> done and over months ago. Um, usually the toys come out before a series does, so it was kind of interesting that the toys came later. Tell that the Transformers animated. Yeah. Or Transformers Prime. Yeah, these things happen, unfortunately. Mm. And I want to say Playmates Ninja Turtles line didn't come out till the Nickelodeon show had been on for a while. My memory could be mistaken on that one. Well, yeah. you do have you do have your uh, your finger in many different sauces, Maz. So I buy it all. Damn it, all of it, all <laughs> the toys. They are mine, <laughs> or a select sample of each, at the very least. And I just went and bought a three zero thing earlier today. Oh my god, what have I done? I don't need to dip into that. You three have zero? opened a can of worms. Yeah, uh, I'm not only three hundred dollar pop figures, and I just went and bought one. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I don't know what I've done. Someone hold this hand quick. Nah, let him get a stroke, and then we'll take all his toys. <laughs> All right, well, All right, well, other expensive other habits. habits. Um, Bandai uh, Tomashi Nations showed off lots and lots of pretty things. Um, personally, I'm really excited about the Street Fighter Ryu and Chun-Li, because um, it's really hard to get any decent Street Fighter figures, and Chun-Li's thighs are just amazing. Chun-Li's thighs are the stars of those pictures, man. It's so wonderful. But besides that, uh, the face sculpts look really good, too. Oh, they look like... Like, like, I'd love to see that as a cartoon. cartoon. That is so amazing. I need to find these pics. Right? I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, go go look them up. Uh, I don't think they announced the release date yet for them, but those are fully painted. Uh, I don't even want to call them prototypes. They're fully painted, and they were on display. They look so good. Um, well, the only thing that kind of aggravates me is... Um, there's another company called Storm Collectibles that's doing a 112 scale, and those look more like the Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5 version of the figure. I was going to collect them, and then I see Figuarts drop the ball. But I'm sorry, not drop the ball, drop the bomb, and go, hey, you like classic Street Fighter? Here you go. Buddy. So. Uh, I'm kind of stuck on those guys. You know, they look well, the pictures in the chat if you guys didn't see these earlier. Yeah, it looks like there stands for WWE figures. Yay! I'm looking at the Chun Li right now. Eh. It's all right. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I mean, you, all the joints are like super visible. They're not even trying to hide them. It's just like he has like these detachable. Like uh, he's got like I got these shorts, but you know I wanted to have pants, but I couldn't afford pants, so I took my socks. And, and, and I tested him below my knee, but it looks like I have a pair of pants. That, that's kind of the impression I'm getting from that toy. The face sculpts are great. The upper body looks great. It's just the lower body. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's okay. Um, I'm okay with visible joints. Um, but no, I mean, man, those thighs. She could crush a man's head like a sparrow's egg. It's beautiful. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> That was just poetry, man. I like that. <laughs> I think it's a Zangief line, actually. But it's more fun nice thinking about it. with Chun Li than with Zangief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Zangief in my dreams, man. That's that's nightmare fuel right there. But you know, uh, figure arts they they have a tendency to usually up their game up. So like what Tim's talking about with the, with the uh, knee joints and all that, you know, the 
some of their newer figures, especially, and we'll hit this in a bit, but like the Dragon Ball figures, um, you know, they come with big old like uh, loose pants and whatnot. And they they try to hide that little joint uh, between like you know what should be a fabric. It's just molded plastic, but they they try to maneuver around that. Maybe they'll learn after this uh, when they have another figure, like maybe a Ken or even a Dan. You know, they'll. Like, I would so it. buy a Dan. I love oh yeah, that. oh yeah, dude. Dan fanboys, they're good people. <laughs> I'm looking at Storm collectibles, and I gotta say, um, they, those look really good too. Yeah, yeah. I don't see myself not getting the first three. So right now they've got Ryu, Ken, and Bison uh, coming out Ken, late Ken this year. Ken surfing early. a fireball, yeah. or like a, a like he wants to be like like Goku and ride a Nimbus. But it's a fireball, right? Right. But it's actually it's it's an attachment that's to one of his legs. But the way they have a position, they have it look like, dude, I am so surfing. <laughs> yeah, I found, this, I found this picks kind of funny. Um, almost like he's gonna kick it, like like he's playing soccer or something. But uh, man, that, I love that style. I, I love when they first showed the Street Fighter Four uh, versions of people. It's just. It's neat, so I'm glad that there's that line, and maybe that's why I want to collect. I still collect the Storm collectibles because it doesn't really go against. It doesn't feel like double dipping if I do figure arts too, because they're technically two separate lines. They're just the same people. I don't know. I'm, but I'll tell you one thing: I might have to pick up these Storm collectible figures, though they're really expensive, but they're really well sculpted. Like that Shao Kahn looks like he just popped out of the Mortal Kombat 2 video game. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, so they're. I mean, essentially, the the pricing and points going to be just about the as the same as a uh, figure arts. But I see what you're saying. And yeah, like you know, fifty, sixty, maybe even seventy dollars for some of those. Definitely not something you just go at retail and pick up. Not like that. Hey, Necro. Yo. Get over here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, after the duck, there's this chain coming at me. <sighs> no, no, it's okay. Mine's the movie version. I'll chase your ass all the way through a forest. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Just in case y'all haven't uh, figured it out, Storm Collectibles is also doing a uh, Mortal Kombat line as well. Same scale, 112. So, you know, a Street Fighter versus uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, not in video game yet, but hey, toy-wise, you can do it. Yeah. Fantasy fulfilled. And then we get Bruce Lee in his underwear, and that is priceless by itself. Yummy. All right, so we've talked Street Fighter to death. Yes, no? I think so. Yeah. I think, right. I think we need to go on to something a little more a little more uh, color-friendly. A little more, oh, what do we say? A little more animalistic. A little mechanized. Uh, a little spandexy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a little soul to it. Little Jokin. Uh, how about a soldier Jokin um, Megazord that's fully posable? Dijujin. Dijujin. Jew. Bless you. So, Dijujin. So, so, you know, like Sindel Prime would probably love it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah $300 for this beautiful, this beautiful piece of plastic and metal of the Solo Chogokin Daijujin Megazord, depending on your region, what name you prefer. And and uh, Maz is going to buy it. He's going to buy one for a little bit. I want I hear to buy to one. Buy like, oh, I, I want this thing so bad that that's like... That's a lot. And I've always wanted a, a me the original Megazord. Ever since. I mean, I grew up watching the show and I, I, I want to get one of them. They're, the movie's going to give us a bunch, but ooh, that's might not be the one. I mean, I it looks, looks good, good, but man, so three hundred. Not, not to mention import, import shipping because yeah. it's got die, die cast, cast, which adds the weight. weight and because like, well, I handle that. Domestically, so if you're like so if you're an, you're like an like Amazon, Amazon Prime, Prime member, Prime you have free shipping. Yeah. No, I'm not an Amazon Prime member. Don't buy enough from Amazon. Uh, yeah. Well, there are some, you know, uh, North American retailers, rather, that do work with uh, Bluefin. So, you know, you can get them that way through some of your usual haunts. 
We'll and see. Some Barnes and Noble stores sell bluefin stuff. None in my state, apparently, or the neighboring states, but some of them do. Oh, uh, what's bluefin? A uh, bluefin is Bandai's North American distribution agent. Oh, okay. So Bluefin's awesome. doing a release of this as the Soul of Chogokin Megazord. Well, if you were buying one in Japan, it would be Soul of Chogokin Daijujin. You know, the same as for Golion and Voltron. Like, Bluefin's doing the, the Voltron release. Yeah, I gotta say, like, so they released the, the teaser trailer for the new Power Rangers movie. Have you guys seen it? Yes. yes. I'm cautiously optimistic that it might not be terrible. No, they're trying to make it more like a believable like uh, yeah. story. Yeah. They're making it more, less campy, yeah. <laughs> less less like the show. Uh, there will be camp, I'm sure. Um, I mean, Bill Hader as Alpha Five that could be fantastic, possibly. Wait, yeah. Bill Hader is going to be Alpha Five? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I really love that trailer, and I am seeing the usual internet people that. I read about when it comes to Power Rangers Tokusatsu stuff, and they are shitting on this so bad. <laughs> well, of course, they of are. course, they are. It's not G one. It's not true to G one. They are yeah, G one. So, that is exactly what's going on. Yeah. Well, uh, here's my thing. I, th I, th the problem with um, the difference. At least the Power Ranger aesthetic is evolved to that we like. It's not Michael Bade, <laughs> where the fans like you killed my childhood. Um, they look oh, cool. I see people complain about the suit designs. Like, oh, it's Iron Man. It's not Sentai. I have seen you know, so many comments of that. Th that's being overly critical because it's I, not. I and if you watch fully. the trailer, it's definitely not. Because, like, uh, uh, Tony Stark's suit kind of, like, clicks and, and attaches to him. It doesn't morph onto his body. At least yeah, not I yet. Heard. That's what this reminded me of. And uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. The, the Guyver live action movies, I did get a little feel of that. Yeah. Oh, I love that second one. Oh, the second one is so good. Are, are you guys talking about the? Are you talking about the Guyver live action movie where like uh, Mark Hamill takes on this big giant beast that thing was in the, the end? First one, it was okay, but no, the second <laughs> one with David Hayter, Solid Snake himself, yeah, in the, in the lead role. Oh, that one is so good. I uh, I, I didn't. I don't know if I saw that one or not. You must yeah, have that one. It makes the first one not even exist anymore. I yeah. enjoyed the first one. Oh, then you need to watch the second one, and you will thank us later. Because, because I, I, I like the effect they did with that uh, his sphere <laughs> on top of his head when they ripped it out and stuff. You thought it killed him, and but the sphere was actually infused with him. So when the sphere regenerated, he became whole again. I thought that was so cool. I don't even remember the plot to the first one because, in comparison to the second one, it doesn't exist for me anymore. Yeah, Guyver 2, Dark Hero, that's in my collection, and not the first one. Yeah. But, yeah, the Power Rangers movie, I'm going to go see it, because uh, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is all the little kids. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, and I'm like, no, kids, you don't understand. This is not going to be a kid's movie. <laughs> it's gonna, I, I it'll mean, be family-friendly fair, I'm sure, still. Oh, yeah, but it's gonna, it's targeted for a more or, older audience, you can tell from the trailer. I mean, It's they, targeted they for talk, teenagers. I mean, and the thing is, man, bullying was really bad in the trailer, man. I mean, it's just like, psh, psh, psh. you know, I'm just like, what the heck? What kind of school do these guys go to? I did like the fact that the Black in Ranger... 2016, probably. After yeah. they, after, spoiler alert, after they got their morphers, they started to get their abilities, and they had them in school. In the series, they never showed that, that they never had these abilities. They just fight buddies out of nowhere, like... And then finally go, it's more for time, you know, and, just, and then they turn into the Power Rangers and then it's either a stunt double, not the same actor, martial artist, or someone else. Uh, but it was kind of cool it's that it showed Japanese that. Japanese footage. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it's not always Japanese footage. Not always, first, not always, no. At and first, they did more original footage for the second and third seasons. Okay. Well, you filled that in, so I don't have to explain. So, uh in the movie, I like the scene where he's just standing there and stuff. The guy wanted to bully him, and he headbutt him, and the guy knocked himself out. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I think it's going to be the key phrase, but I, I really hope they do not use that. It's morph and die. Actually, if they don't, there's going to be a riot because they'll be taken. Uh, I mean, dude, that's the thing. That's Power Rangers. It's morph and time. Yeah, that's but all you, every show, it's morph and time. It's their trademark. Yeah, but look at Transformers. 
look how awkward it was when he says, well, I think there's uh, more to you than, than meets the eye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's Michael Bay and his, and his writers he has in his pocket. No, but uh, freedom is the life of all sentient beings. To all are one, you know? That's and different. <laughs> no, I think Bill Hader could drop a "It's Morphin Time" and they could just look at him like, "What the hell did you say?" and not yeah. say it again. Maybe, maybe it's all like that. That'll work. One shall stand, one shall fall. Why throw away your life so recklessly? That's a question you should ask yourself, Megatron. No, I'll tear you apart with my bare hands. And then I'll use everything I find. Uh, I'll use my fusion cannon. I'll, I'll, I'll grab a stick. I'll grab this lightsaber that apparently appeared out of nowhere. And then I'll grab this gun and I'll make and I'll use Hot Rod as a hostage. <laughs> but I'll fight you with my bare hands. <laughs> Spoiler alert: If you have he weren't alive in 1986 and crying in the theater, oh. and crying, I cried when Prime died. Oh gosh, dude! I still cry. Oh gosh, that scene, Vince Nicola wrote the most saddest music and the way that scene went because remember when we're kids Optimus Prime was like our John Wayne our soldier, our hero and everything like that he was so Americanized he's a big powerful semi truck everything a kid would go like wow and he's like a hero to us and stuff so and he could play some mean go, hoops too and he could play some <laughs> mean hoops and uh, yeah he could slam dunk you know and uh, it might, and sometimes he's drooling correctly the word is dribbling, but he thought it was drooling. But yeah, when Prime died, yeah, waterworks. And even after the movie came out and I was adult, I put it in and watched it, and that scene was still that that, that scene still brought little tears in my eye. I mean, I've watched that movie so many times more than I can count. And now we have a Blu-ray version with uh, the correct frame and everything, digitally redone, built from the ground up, 4K resolution. Like, oh my gosh! And I'm just like. Sweet. So yeah, Chef Factory did very well with that release. I um, would have to say so. All right, so Necro, you still around? Yes, sir. All right, you want to go ahead and cover the next two topics here? Yeah. Uh, so I mean, just branching off again from uh, Bandai's SH Figure Arts lines, uh, some new brands. Well, not, let's say different brands than what we were talking about before. Um, Dragon Ball Z, which has been going on for quite a few years in their toy line. Those uh, figures first, look good, I have to admit. Yeah. At first, I was a little concerned because what hit my feed first were those uh, Xenoverse figures, the hero and the trunks. And I'm just sitting here going, damn it, we need, we need to finish off the core DBZ cast. And once I started looking around a bit more, I realized, oh, Hey, we've got Tien and Yamcha. Awesome. Thanks, Tamashi. That is so great of them. And yeah, they do look awesome. And Tim, this was telling you earlier about the Ryu. Um, you'll notice on some of these guys, they all have pants. And in varying degrees, you know, they, they but mold right, around. It's more, the joints are more hidden on the pants. Right. It's not like, it's not like, hey, I have cutoffs. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> You know, hopefully they they learn from that, and you know the next couple of Street Fighter figures don't suffer. But but here's here's how they really do it. Plus, uh, some of these some of these um, molds have even newer use. Uh, well, newer joints that they've been using for the past maybe six months or so. Uh, they re reissued a uh, Vegeta that had like more like, uh, for lack of a better term, crotch action. So, like, there's it allows more possibility with kicks and whatnot. So, they learn. They do well. But, it, yeah, it's so good to see, uh, you know, Tien and Yamcha on here. They do look awesome. Um, they're going more for the uh, cart. Uh, it's weird. They decided, hey, we're going to start um, issuing figures more like the cartoon coloring versus what we've been doing before. So they yeah, the, yeah, I like them. And it's about time they did some show accurate figures. Yeah. But I never played the Xenoverse game, and I really don't have any, you know. I, I like Trunks. I'm glad we're getting there at Trunks, I guess. But keep up with, uh, you know, the core cast. So hooray for that. Um, I see there's two Fujitas. 
There's yeah. a light blue one, and then there's this one with a dark hue, and I think that one looks better. Um, for me, anyway. So what I'm thinking is one of them is oh damn it from one of the movies I think that they did. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to remember. Brain is not helping me. But yeah, that's what I think it is. It's um, one is just regular DBZ Vegeta, and one is from the movies. Is that is that huge Super Saiyan three Goku poseable, or is that more like a statue? Oh, um, I know you're talking about that's that's a statue type. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's um, it's a slightly different line, but they do have a lot of those out too, and they those look wonderful, but. No posability. Um, I still have my 12, 12 inch um, when they were released in Dragon Ball Z toys to the States. I still have my 12 inch uh, cooler figure back in the nice. day, and that thing is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they look not, they, they're great looking figures. Well, they're great statues, but that's it. They're, they're statues. So, And I'm not talking about the cooler design that's from like, Cooler's Revenge. I'm talking the uh, no, uh, the first one where he came out and fought Goku. He was so freaking awesome. But they killed him so lame. All of a sudden, hey, I'm Super Saiyan. Now you're my bitch, Cooler. Sorry, life sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't care. Power, Cooler's awesome. The power creep in DBZ is amazing. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you no, go. It's just you know I've watched some some scenes in Dragon Ball Z and I watched everything I watched most of GT but then it got so dumb I had to, I couldn't I couldn't keep up uh, I just lost interest uh, yeah, I haven't first, even this, seen that. one of the main villains was called Baby and he would just like absorb people and stuff and mind control them and because he put parts of himself in other people and I'm just like. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then we, and then after we get past Baby, we get to this guy that's made of liquid metal, General What's His Face. Um, and after that, I just, I, you know, and apparently Gero isn't even part of the original manga. He was added to the cartoon. <laughs> Gero, Gero. Cool. Okay, yeah. Uh, just confirmed that. So that that darker, that gray suited Vegeta with the blue hair. That's that's from the newer movies, the Resurrection. Um, yeah, I haven't seen the new God Goku series, which it's like, oh, come on, really? <laughs> hey, keep, keep milk and DBZ. There you go. People watch. So, I mean, yeah. is, the, is the original designer still involved with it at all? Because I, I remember after, know. because after Z, and I remember <laughs> after Dragon Ball Z, after the Boo saga, he said he was done. He said, I'm done. I don't want to do it. But the studio put pressure on him because, like, because it was so successful. He said, "No, I, the Boo Saga was the end." <laughs> and he's like, "They're like, no." So well, they brought been back done GT for a while, even before and, Boo Saga. Um, but well, yeah, GT after, was a result of the animation studio still having the ability to produce animation without Toriyama's input. Now, I, now what I heard was t uh, Toriyama basically uh, he didn't want to do it. So they gave Vegeta. A he gave Vegeta a mustache. He made Goku a kid again. Uh, he didn't do a it. A lot of. Are you sure? Yes. I'm gonna have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure he did. That's just Bird Studios going on their own. All right then. Yeah. But I don't know if he's if he's involved with Super or not. So these Naruto figures well, look good. Um. Yes. Yes. The Naruto figures do look pretty awesome. Um. I've only started uh recently picking them up with the sage mode uh naruto i'm really glad that uh they showed us a, a sakura figure so we could you know finish off the original team seven even though th these are designs for the uh naruto shippuden where they're a bit older and not the original uh you know, you know what's you know what's sad necro i feel so bad for itachi Feel bad for Itachi. Yeah, yeah, they've drawn that story out long and hard, and yeah. And and it and it's like they made him out like to be the ultimate villain, but he was just following orders. So let's yeah. take that from a military standpoint. When uh, when your when your superior commander gives you an order to execute someone, are you neutralizing an enemy or you're a murderer? Well, you're neutralizing an enemy. He was given an order. Um, yeah. And Usually, though, they don't force you to neutralize your family and everyone in your bloodline. So <laughs> that was a little different. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, totally, totally. It it was cool how they built up that story, um, and you know, expound on it in Shippuden. Um, awesome. How screwed up is Obito, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Obito. Uh, we, well, I, I think for the most part, it's, it's Ren. If Ren would just have not died, all this would have been. I know, right? Problem. Well, well it wasn't Kakashi's fault. She was taken over by a Shinobi. Right. And because because that happened, uh, it simply was, you know, that's just the way it goes. Yeah, and and the, again, we talk about power creep. My goodness, uh, if anyone who's, <laughs> who's watching Shippuden now, or, and I'm actually about uh, let's say anywhere between seventy and eighty episodes behind right now, and just um, found out earlier today or yesterday that they're about to do the last two episodes. So it's like, oh, cool, I have something to look forward to. Yeah, but power well, creep least... in that show is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it was interesting. Like when uh, Naruto finally got control of uh, his his uh, the, the nine tail fox, the, yeah. he, and the way he controlled him was that he became uh, friends right, uh, right. with him instead of like trying to control him like everyone else does. He says, "I'm going to take away your sadness too," and that's right. And the fox was like, "Huh?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, he uh, he won over a lot of friends. Uh, with that whole mentality, which is really cool. Really cool. But yeah, so, um, you know, I, I was looking at it a bit earlier. It looks like they've actually, they showed Sakura a few months ago as well, but I must have missed it. But she looks really good, and they'll be glad. I'll be glad to have that in the collection once I, you know, uh, pick up some of those older figures. I think, I think the Sasuke, there's an original Sasuke figure that's been sold out for a while. New one's coming where, out. Where, so. where the heck is my Hinata? Uh, you, you get to wait a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. There's way too many characters right now, so, you know, they're, they're slowly going to work into it. Again, just like Dragon Ball Z, they're, they're going to work into it. And it might take a few years, maybe ten, but, you know, hopefully we'll get them. So, yeah, um, you know, that, again, uh, Figure arts is really good with with anime um, styled figures, and uh, these are just another example of it. I uh, like them a lot. So cool, very cool on that. Um, another thing too that we looked at, uh, they they showed some of their DC movie verse figures. Um, they showed uh, Batman and Joker from Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. So these are very uh, movie style looking figures. And these have been making the rounds for a while as well. Um, so hopefully, you know, they'll be out for release pretty soon. It would be neat to add those to, you know, what I have already. But the newest item is Suicide Squad Deadshot, which was only shown as an uh, uncolored prototype. And um, we already know they've got a Harley Quinn and a Joker from that movie coming out early next year. So, uh, you know, they'll have someone else big to play with. And he looks like Will Smith. So if you ever want a Will Smith figure, here's your chance. Nope. No. Yeah. Not no, even. He's like in 90s like colors, colors and yeah. extremely fresh. I don't, I don't know if it does it for me. Ooh, how about like a Fresh Prince and a Jazzy Jeff? Two oh, sure. I can so buy so that. Buy just that. for pictures on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking you could. they could probably just do the whole line, too. You could have Uncle Phil. Oh, and Uncle Phil will be so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So. Well, which which version of the ant would they use? The first one. You got to have the first one. Okay. Oh, maybe convention convention exclusive for the second one, because you know they like to dig people over with convention exclusives. Oh, sure. 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 Yeah. I'll be in a Carlton. Yeah. (laughs) If you ain't doing the Carlton dance, not interested. (laughs) I think figure arts could both a, a Carlton dance. dance, right? Yep. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it with my figure arts stuff. Anything else? I so got to get that NECA one four scale giant Hulk. Does he smash? It's not on here, but yeah, the NECA quarter scale stuff looks crazy, especially the movie Ninja Turtles. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah I, I just don't. I I just. I, I got to get that Hulk because they made so many improvements from the when they first showed this guy. Uh, the prototype didn't look that great, and this one looks way better. 
I caught myself eyeing the um, Batfleck that they have out, or at least uh, the, you know was making the rounds as well, and that looked really good. What about the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman? Wow. That looked great. That looked great. There's no bad looking figures there. Yeah. Other than Iron yeah, Man uh, Mark 43, just because that armor sucks. But I, I tried to mention to Zach, because he's a Deadpool fan, that 1-4 scale Deadpool is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Uh, looks nice. And um, I just can't bring myself to get in the 1-4 scale. I've got so many other representations coming out of you know some of these guys. It's like, uh, I don't know where I'd do with these. What are they? So 18 inches, 18 inch figures. Well, the turtles actually aren't 18 inch. You got to think of one four scale and to relevant to the actual hot size and height. Like the Hulk's one fourth, but he's a two feet tall figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he, he's bigger than all of them. Uh, the turtles, I think, if I stand corrected, they're about 14, 15 inches. I think I'm not quite sure. Maybe yeah. Maz can correct me. Um, but yeah, they're still relatively. They're still relatively large, highly detailed figures that pop right out of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> and that's one thing I love about NECA. They're the only company that can make big, posable figures that scale and make them awesome. And not just awesome and detailed. I'm sorry, 3A sucks, That my personal opinion. These, the, the way NECA builds their figures, they're super durable. My Master Chief, okay... I have concrete floor, and the only thing I have on top of my concrete floor is carpet pad. Now, if you know what carpet pad is, it's very thin. It's not really carpet. It's kind of like, um, kind of like when you walk like into a business office or something. It's not soft. It's just there. So, anyways, my master chief took a took a nose dive, fell about five and a half feet off the shelf onto the floor. Now. I'm thinking to myself, oh crap, there goes a hundred bucks. And I pick him up, nothing wrong with him. Nothing broken, and everything works just fine. And I was just like, wow. You know, it's just like, not only do they make him huge, but they make him durable. So they're not just, you can mess with them. You don't have to worry about breaking them. Uh, I don't know what kind of plastic they use. I know they use resin and PVC, but. They must use a real high dense version of them because my Master Chief is solid as a rock and he's heavy. He has a ton of weight to him. These figures aren't light, and I love it because they don't feel like a paper. They don't peer, feel like light as air. They feel like they have weight and girth to them. So if I can get the money uh, eventually, I don't know if I can, but I want to get the Hulk. Um, but you know, yeah, they look pretty sweet. Leonardo, Raphael. I mean, they look. Straight out of the original classic Teenage Mutant Ninja movie. Um, funny thing is, I don't see any pics of Michelangelo, which is weird. Uh, they showed Michelangelo at another convention, but I think at New York Comic Con is only Raphael and uh, Donatello, actually. Oh, so that means he's not done yet. No, they totally have Michelangelo pictures out there. I forgot. I think it was probably San Diego Comic Con. I will say it was Donatello and Michelangelo there. I think it's Leo we've not seen yet. Oh, that's right. We have not seen Leo. So probably at Toy Fair, we're probably going to see all four of them. We will find out. We will right. find out. Four months from now. <laughs> hey, you know, I, and that, that's a looking forward to. Transformer Last now. Night Toys. One steps and three steps for the win. Yay. Hey, there will be some gems in that line. Probably Decepticons. Because Autobots probably. suck. Will they be truly, truly, truly outrageous? <laughs> oh, that's right. We're getting gem toys because the movie's coming. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, oh! You forgot about that? Yeah, you the, just the gem movie already happened. Everyone forgot about it. I, I saw the gem movie um, on a dare and with a six pack, and it still wasn't good. I hope there are no toys of that ever. But the current I'm gem a- IDW series is pretty good. Okay, and that that I, I would uh, be interested in reading. It, it looks colorful and fun, so yeah. But until yeah, the dark gem storyline, that one kind of okay. lost my interest, actually. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've lost Brian. Um, think about Computer crashed. It, it was Synergy's fault. Damn you, Synergy! <laughs> um, I love the fan theories that Synergy is Cybertron tech. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, well. You never have seen any of that stuff? No, no. No. I saw a fan comic once where Pound shows up mad that his holographic projector got stolen. Oh. Well, why can't they put that in Revolutions? That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, God. They put comic. everything else in there. <laughs> yeah, the Micronauts just showed up in that comic. Cool, cool. I um, I haven't read this week's stuff yet, but I do have uh, Issue 2 and um, New Transformers, so... Hey, Maz, the Combaticons got their own issue. <laughs> I'm not sure that was a good thing, though. It wasn't their own issue. It was part of a series, and, oh, my, my, my poor boys. Ironhide <laughs> just shooting Bruticus in the back of the face. <laughs> <sighs> At least it was Ironhide. You know, it wasn't like, oh. Leak and lubricants. <laughs> At least in one, like, a deranged Sentinel Prime using some crazy rust gun. Right. Power right. used up. <laughs> or Longtooth, who's just in the background all the time. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a Longtooth figure. Honestly, I'd love a Longtooth figure. I might make one eventually. I'm not very motivated on that one. So, I, wanna... I got a question, Maz. Is One Punch only 12 episodes? Uh, season 1 is only 12 episodes, yes. Oh, okay, so there's more. Thank goodness. Yeah, season two is coming sometime. Yeah, the end of the series is after he fought this ultra tough guy. He, uh, everything's like back to normal. Cities rebuilt. They have these new highways and all this stuff. And then they fight this villain. Oh, you in the course a giant monster it looks like this pig, pig gremlin, whatever thing. <laughs> it's like you human scum, and it's always you human scum. I'm like, what did we do? I mean, seriously, you suck, just, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the you guy know, from the ocean had real beef with us I mean, oh yeah he, he, he should have murdered beef. the world yeah and um, and then like he punches him once and, the, and as soon as he punches and destroys the guy in one punch he's like dang it I'm still back to one punch and then the music kicks in again uh, I, I, re I really enjoyed the end of season one prisoner? oh gosh that guy <laughs> um, I, I, I want to think... pray for prisoner Figma so bad him and they would have Common to, can just molest. They would have to. They would have to find a way to to put all these different objects in front of his uh, his uh, front part, uh, disguise in, in funny ways because they did that through the whole series. I'm just like, what you know? And I find that so funny when they find all these weird things and just like, I'll save you and stuff. And the funny thing is, the whole thing through the series, not one person with everything going on could care less if this guy's running around naked. It, it, it's like never brought up, not even once. I think they just want to avoid him as much as possible. Well, he but, he's a he, he. They put him in prison because he can't control his love for yeah. for men, um, which that would scare the crap out of me. <laughs> now, now I have this thought in my head: a cool thought, but it'll probably never happen. So we're talking about you know how to possibly make a figure of this guy, and I'm thinking. Let's go back to uh, the Naruto line. I'd love to see uh, Sexy Nojitsu as a figure. That'd be badass. Oh, heck yeah. I'd be all over that. What a, cute what a, Naruto maybe, maybe his... clouds. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, right now the episode I'm at is I'm watching Kakashi. Basically, he's dealing with the darkness. Uh, it's a it's flashback where it explains why Kakashi and Obito and Ren and all those are friends. It even talks about like why Itachi did what he did even more so in detail, which kind of confused me. They go for like, well, I was told to do this and that. And then like, uh, I don't remember third giving him the order. And I'm like, wait, third gave him the order. I'm like, what the heck? And Donzo's a douchebag, like, uh, she sway, uh, who whose intentions were was for the village and stuff and his clan, you know, and he wasn't a traitor, but Donzo didn't believe him. He was trying to rip out his eye, and uh, well, he did. He ripped out his eye, <laughs> but he managed to es escape with fire style. Right. Well, Don uh, Donzo is very much uh, power driven, and of course, that was just the means to even more power, and even a power that's greater than his. So. Uh, you know, that played out earlier on in the Shippuden series. But unfortunately, uh, look forward to more episodes of flashbacks of Kakashi and Obito and Rin because 
you know, watching that story five or six times isn't enough. And they're going to bring it back again and again. And, uh, you know, eventually we'll, we'll end the series. And eventually I'll get there. But, yeah, just look forward to that story repeating itself, repeating itself, repeating itself, repeating itself. Oh, yeah. I expect that a lot because the – they're doing like they built up the whole Madara when they got all the the ninja the ninja uh, villages unite one nation to take on uh, Madara resurrected Madara and he mopped the floor with them <laughs> literally thousands of trained shinobi jo- Jonin and masters could not beat Madara could even keep him could, could barely slow him down could even kill him and he's already right. dead. <laughs> <laughs> And Obito, and Obito was pretending to be Madara. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. But again, the, lots, lots of power creep going on. Um, lots of power creep. Eventually they'll, you know, they'll, they'll flush it out and we'll, we'll have a correct ending. So, yay. I, well, I, I, th- I think we reached the end. I don't know, Maz, yep. have we reached the end? Well, one question for you guys. Is anyone getting the Nindoroid Naruto? I will probably skip on the Nendoroid. Um, the, uh, no, uh, as much as I like the the series, I, I I try to just stay focused on Transformers as much as I can, and it has to be something super epic. Like they come out with the one four scale, highly detailed, poseable, like uh, Naruto figure, but it's Hinata. Yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I mean, the Nendoroid one looks really good, and that's uh, Sage Mode Naruto, which is cool, but um, I have a lot of Nendoroids already that are, seriously, they're just, they're boxed, they haven't been opened, and they're hiding, and so it'd just be me wasting money. I have a better chance of opening the uh, uh, figure art stuff than I do Nendoroid, so I'll I just think it's funny. I think it's funny after he uh, became one with the nine tail dragon. It's like Sage Mode kind of just kind of disappeared. Now he's just a ball of fire flying around. <laughs> e... Except so, when um... he gets weaker, he switches to Sage Mode because uh, in Sage Mode, certain jutsus don't work on him. Right. I must say, I must be a little bit ahead of you in watching. And um, yeah, it comes back, and it's it's still helpful. Hey, no spoilers. I'm trying. I'm. I'm. I'm at the point where Kakashi's like flunking all these people because he's dealing with this darkness. Yeah. <laughs> and then they come back and thank him because now they're better people. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So no more talk of Naruto. Will not spoil. There you go. Sorry. No, I'm just saying I won't spoil for you. That's all. No, I'm okay. Sorry. But yeah. So, um... <laughs> sorry, Maz. We're we're anime nerds, geeks, fans. We have a passion. And that passion has to be expressed. There's no giant robots. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. Well, there's giant monsters. Uh, they're like robots. Uh, kind of monsters. Robots. Yeah. I don't think there's ever been any robots, but it's still it's weird. The like then forget uh, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's some robots in Bleach, but that's been talk for another day. Oh shit! Yeah, sixty-seven <laughs> episodes. I was done. I don't know how you guys have the patience for multi-hundred episode series. Because it was eight for me, and I stopped. I watched the whole series. The ending sucked. Because if you I can't wrap it up in sixty-seven episodes, the ending is gonna suck. Spoilers for was, Naruto when it finally ends. The battle between uh, the battle between um, Ichigo and Aizen was epic, though. Uh, that was technically supposed to be the last uh, episode, and. It was still popular, so they kept going for another season, and I was, and it just went to a weird place, and it just like so many shonen series, it should yeah. end, and they don't. Yeah, it should have ended after the battle with Aizen, because that way, if they want to bring it back later or do a new one, it's it's like a fresh start. But instead, it was just kind of lingering on. It was, you know, it he was he was on life support afterwards so yeah like one punch man if he gets more than four seasons i quit probably gonna get more than four seasons he's pretty popular now domestically and internationally yeah more than 48 (laughs) episodes i'm done what's he up to now 12 so still ways to go so when's season two coming 
unconfirmed. I, I read an announcement, but I can't tell you. Why not? Because I forgot. Well, what good are you then? Well, from not what much. I'm saying, let's put it this way. So season two confirmed, but unknown as to when it's airing. So just stay tuned. Hey, at least Attack on Titan season two is coming. Thank God. Oh. I hope they bring back the original intro theme song. I thought that was the best one. They won't. They should, though. So many series. Get a new season. It's a new song that sucks compared to the first season. <laughs> well, well, halfway through the, the first season, they changed the song. Apparently, they didn't even get that far. All right. Well, I finished the whole first season. What's your story? I have a diverse series of interests, unless I have to edit and put on video for this piece of shit we do every week. <laughs> 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 yeah, love you guys. Yay! Oh, yeah. Yay! All right, cool. Well, I think we've uh, tangented enough. So, guys, y'all ready? Oh, yep. I'm Timotheus Prime. Thank you for listening, and I'm a dragon. This is Necro Um uh, It's been fun. Talk to y'all next time. And this is Mazen Totoro. Hita Indoor. <laughs>